we're interested in blurring the line between what is natural and what is artificial. Wretched Flowers challenges traditional notions of beauty and floristry. We use natural elements like foraged flowers and plants and also objects made with technology like VR, AI, computer software, 3D printers, things like that. We use our garage as our studio basement area as well. Got a couple things going on, so we have a slab roller here. We got some of these Star Tracer vases that we sell online that we've designed in VR. Loni's working on some sgraffito from, for some ceramic bowls. We do a lot of other 3D print wax little vases. We call this like the Love 666. Also some 3D printed flowers that we work with. We did something at MoMA PS1 for warm up last summer. We kind of built the stage and coming from each side of the stage, we had a bunch of these different arms and then each one had a dried arrangement. These are some prints we just printed from our kind of our first experiments using AI that creates images based on sentences that you feed it. Things that are kind of vague and seeing what an AI might come up with when it's meant to just be imagining like haunted or scary or creepy. We've never seen like a gothic florist or like a metal florist and that is what sparked our initial kind of like, oh, we can kind of make this dark and still like explore the full potential of what plants can be. So we're thinking about that as like a centerpiece on a table and there'd be plates and stuff around it. So we used it for a photo shoot. Just thinking about a table arrangement in a different way of plants down, vase on top kind of situation. So this is mycelium, which is like the root structure of mushrooms. And on our website, we sell these vases that are, we grow the mycelium and then we airbrush them. I think it's funny when people always come over, they always look at this and see miscellaneous teeth, hair, etc. And whenever we do our taxes, like our accountant's always like, so what you have as an expense, teeth and hair? And they're always really, and they're like, but you're a florist. And so they're always like really confused about the materials we're using. And we're like, well, we like to kind of push floristry into new realms. This is squig. This is a 3D print that we made that we covered in wax. It's kind of gotten beat up because we kind of mess around with it in the studio. We love celebrating all stages of a plant's life cycle, including dead flowers. And it just so happens that you don't have to refrigerate dead flowers, which makes it great for shipping. It's the most environmentally friendly option. We're interested in kind of opening up conversations about what do we consider to be natural, what do we consider to be unnatural or artificial. Part of why we're combining technology-based production methods with like something like foraging is to kind of blur those lines. We always love the saying, dead arrangements last forever. Dead arrangements last forever.